Hey guys, it's Dana with Dana Tracy Designs and I'm so excited to be back here on my YouTube channel. I've missed you guys. I'm so excited because I'm doing a new project for our home and wanna share some tips and tricks with you. Um, we have been working on our home still and it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. I've been trying to figure out where do we take this channel next because we've done most of our remodel and now it's time to start doing some decorating and some fun other DIY projects. So today I'm gonna do a um, let's eat sign and I'm so excited because I want to share with you how I got that wood grain effect on our wall in our living room. And I'm going to do the same technique today on the sign. So let's take a look. Okay, so for today's project, I'm going to be using this pine board that I have um, had here in our shop for a while. It's 9 by 40 in size, I believe. And then I also am going to be using some Midwax dark walnut stain. I also have some just white chalk paint. I have my grain tool that I can share the link to how to order it. Um, either it comes in two different sizes, but this is what I used in our home on our living room wall. And then I also have my stencil. And the stencil I'm going to do today is let's, as you can see it with a fork, knife, and spoon, eat, super fun. We make stencils in um, our workshop at MDT Woodworks. And then I'm gonna do the font in black. So I've got a little bit of midnight sky. So that is what I'm gonna be using today to do this project. Okay, the very first thing I'm gonna do. So typically um, these wood grain tools are something that you could use on um, a, pa a paint painted project. Uh, it would be something like on our wall, um, we had painted the background color and then um, I went, let it dry and then came over it with a different shade of color and then used the tool to create that grained effect to give it that wood grain look without actually building a palette board. Now today I'm doing something a little bit different because I'm doing it on this actual board which actually has wood grain in it. But I wanted to share with you what it would look like. Um, I've never really tried it with stain and paint, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. So basically I'm just gonna put this walnut stain. I really want that brown warm look as my background. So while if you're deciding to do this wood grain, uh, to use this wood grain tool, you're going to want to choose your background color first and then a contrasting color so you can get that wood grain look. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you guys have questions, you can always send me a message and I can definitely help you out with that. So I just love browns and whites. Um, in our kitchen, we already have a color on the wall, which is an oyster color. And then we also have a color on our dining room wall, which is just gonna be kind of right in between. And it is called Granite Boulder. So I wanted to do this one in more of a brown rustic white with black font. So I decided to go ahead and stain this board in one of my favorite colors, which is dark walnut. And then I will let that dry for a few minutes and come back over it, I will do the sides and everything else here shortly. But I'm gonna let this dry for a few minutes, then I'm gonna brush my white on and I will show you how to use the tool effect. Okay, now that my board is good and dry, I've got it wiped down, all the oils are pretty much off of my board from the stain, I am going to use some white paint that I have here in my can and I'm gonna just brush this on. Um, I'm gonna brush it over the whole board first then I will come back with my tool and I'm actually gonna change out my tool and I'm going to actually put the smaller piece um, on instead. So hang on here as I get this switched out here. What I'm gonna do is put this one on instead. So it's a little bit smaller since my board is more narrow. Now the larger piece did work perfectly. I wanted the grain wood look to be thicker boards. And so that worked really well. Um, and then you just basically, I'll show you, <laughs> slide this in there. If I can figure it out here while I'm doing a YouTube video. There we go. 
Do not try this at home, folks. I'm kidding. Okay, so there it is. All right, we're ready to roll, guys. Let's do this. Okay, now that I have my coat of paint on here, I'm gonna take my wood grain tool and I'm going to just kind of rotate it as I go along my board to give it that wood grain look. So I'm gonna start down here and kind of see. Oh yeah, I'm loving it, guys. Looks so awesome. You guys can see that, hopefully. Come back and do it again. Basically, what this is doing is removing a little bit of the paint on the board. So you always want to have like a paper towel or something. See that? And then you're just going to take it again. So this is why it was so much fun on our wall. I'm just going to kind of dab that off and I'm going to go again. Now I've got a few lines. I'm not sure if I love all the lines so I can come back over that if I need to. And I'm just gonna keep going up and down my board. And the more that you rotate with your wrist, the more you're gonna get all the different green patterns, which is pretty cool. So there's a few things that I just wanna kinda get a little bit better at as far as some of them have a little too much for me on certain areas, but I really, really like this. Okay, so let me show you with it standing up. Okay, I have to show you guys what this looks like because it's so awesome and it's even better in person, but I wanted to give you guys a look up close as it is drying. So here it is, the finished board. I will wait to put my stencil on it tomorrow. I'm gonna let it really get good and dry overnight, but it has a little bit of texture on it once it dries because some of those paints will puddle together. Now you could do something like this, but use two different colors if you wanted to. So you could do a background color and then two top layers and then use your tool. It's really up to you on how chippy and how grainy you want this to be. So um, you can get it as grainy as you want, or you can get it as um, simple as you want as well. So in our home, I'll share some pictures for you guys to check out the before and after and as I went along. I just made sure and made, made sure this kept kind of rotating back up and down so that I would get the paints here and here. And all of these grooves are gonna give you that grained look, which is how, if you go in our house, it does look like a wood paneled wall. Um, and that's the kind of look I was going for, for a much less expensive um, technique versus putting palette boards up there, especially with it all being plastered walls. So I'm really excited. I will share this tool with you guys and then stay tuned as I will come back tomorrow and share with you the final product and how I'm gonna put the stencil over this. Okay guys, we've let this board dry overnight and I'm super excited. It has the coolest texture to it. I'm gonna try and hold it up close so you guys can kind of see the pattern on the actual board. So now I'm gonna work on my stencil. So this is probably one of my favorite new designs that we have started doing, and I can't wait to put it on some additional items for our store. So I've printed myself a stencil. This is going in our kitchen um, dining area. So I am just gonna rub my stencil really quick, and then I'll peel it off and stick it on the board, and then I'll clean it real quick, and you guys will see the finished results. Super fun and easy. Okay guys, the finished product. I'm so excited to show you. This is like my favorite. I just had a customer come in and she was already asking me how much it is, where did I, how did I do it, all that good stuff. So you know it's a hit when a customer loves it. So here is the final product. I will take it in my, take it home tonight and hang it in our home. But I stink and love it. And now I wanna make all of my signs like this. So. Now you guys know how to use this tool. It's super simple and easy. I will share the link in the comments or in the description of this video so you guys can go find the tool and get it yourself. 
You can use it on walls. You can use it on boards. You can use it probably on floors. So um, check it out. If you have questions, feel free to message me. Happy Thursday.